All right, hello, welcome back. Uh, we're going to be uh, working through some problems here just to illustrate exactly how we uh, use this calculator for specific functions, all right? So let's say that we have a problem taken off of harpit.com. Now let's say that we have a, uh, we're trying to compute a present value, okay? We're trying to compute a present value, and we're saying that we're going to receive a payment, okay? We're going to receive an amount of $450, $455, and that's going to come in 10 years, Okay, and we know that our discount rate is going to be 19%. We're trying to figure out how much that, that payment of 455 is going to be worth, right? That payment of 455 in 10 years, how much that's going to be worth right now. Um, now, keep in mind, even though that it says payment, it's only a single time. So, our payment, right? Our payment, this is uh, recurring payments, right? This is that annuity. So, if we don't have, if we only have a single payment, uh, it's not recurring. Our payment here is, is going to be zero. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have a future value of 455. Our number of time periods is is 10, and our interest rate is going to be 19 percent. Okay. So we're going to enter this stuff into our calculator. Uh, we know we have a future value of 455, so we enter 455 and hit future value, and then we have a zero as our payment. Right. So zero payment. We are solving for future, or excuse me, solving for present value, and then our interest rate is 19%. So we're going to hit 19, and then hit the i over y, and then we're, and then we are going to hit the 10 years, right? 10, and then hit the n, and then we solve this by hitting compute present value, and you'll notice here is that it comes up with a negative 79.89. Um, so basically, this rounds to $80. Okay, and so our, the actual value of this payment of 455 today is $80. So that's the basic way that we compute present value.